Okay, so we have tried smartwatches from Bode, Firebolt, Noise, Amazfit, about 500 smartwatches in the past three to four years. But whenever we talk about true smartwatches, there's only a very few. A smartwatch that can make calls, reply to notification, let you install apps, track your workout, basically everything. Now, the Galaxy Watch 4 is available at huge discounts. And if you want a true smartwatch, that is the best deal. Let me explain. A true smartwatch lets you use it without the need of a smartphone. So by the end of this video, you will know which are the best two smartwatches you can buy or is the Galaxy Watch 4 at 10,000 a good deal? By the way, this video is made in collaboration with Samsung, but you know it, I know it, your opinions are mine. Now, just to put it out there, this is the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and this is the Galaxy Watch 4, Galaxy Watch 4 Classic LTE. This is the Galaxy Watch LTE and Galaxy Watch. The point being, we have been using Samsung Galaxy watches from a long time and this opinion comes from experience. First of all, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro now doesn't have that rotating bezel. You get this all titanium case which is 5x more durable. Also, you get this debuckle magnet strap. I love this because I have hairy forearms. And this strap mechanism doesn't wax my hair. And the fit and magnet are really strong. Like, see, it just doesn't go off. But one thing I felt is, if you have to loosen the strap on the wrist, you'll have to remove the clasp and loosen it. So I usually wear this watch a little bit loose. You also get various color straps so you can just match it up with your outfit. But the number one thing which makes it a true smartwatch is Wear OS. Since Galaxy Watch 4, Samsung watches come with Android's Wear OS. So basically you have a Play Store right on the smartwatch. So you can choose to install apps on the watch or just go to Play Store on your phone and choose an app, suppose YouTube Music, and now see, I have an option to install it directly on my Samsung watch. So that Android ecosystem works really well. Plus, you can use Google Assistant on the watch and you can set Google Assistant to wake whenever you long press this key. So now, hold on. Where is my phone? It is ringing somewhere. <laughs> no, there's no space inside this. Ah, there you have it. See? So Google, find my device. Plus, you can use your watch to turn off studio lights. Now turn on studio lights. Because we can't shoot the video in dark. So Google Assistant gives you all these smart home and Android ecosystem options right on the smartwatch, which is not possible with other assistants. And with Wear OS on the watch, you can actually open YouTube videos on the browser and then watch India lose in WTC final. <laughs> Said life. Maybe next time. Number two, Samsung Galaxy watches also have an LTE variant. So now I'm outside and I haven't brought my phone over here, but I can still make calls from my watch. Hi, Sian. Like, share, subscribe. Because the LTE variant of Galaxy watches uses an eSIM, so you can make calls, use internet, everything on your smartwatch without the need of your smartphone. It's different from budget Bluetooth calling watches, which need your smartphone to be around to make or receive calls. And here's the best part about LTE smartwatches. Now, WhatsApp has recently announced a Wear OS version of their watch. So right now, I can use WhatsApp on my smartwatch and say good morning to Sayan, because why not? And all of this, without having my smartphone. Now, there are two requirements to use eSIM on your watch. You need to have an eSIM on your phone as well. Sometimes it also works with physical SIM if you have a Samsung phone. And number two, in USA, for using LTE on smartwatch, you need to pay about $5 to $10 per month. But in India, as of now, it's completely free. So, Number three, fitness activities. So see here, I've been walking for around 10 minutes now and my smartwatch has detected that and already started tracking my workout. And with normal budget smartwatches, you have to manually go start the workout when you are about to do a workout and then they start tracking your workout. But here, it auto detects any activity that you're doing for 10 minutes or more. So obviously you have to last more than 10 minutes for the workout to register. Rest, the Galaxy Watch also tells you your body mass, BMI, fat percentage. Like you have to maintain this pose and take the entire reading and I can't show you the entire detail. Blur it out, blur it out in the post. We are not that close. Now in terms of battery life, usually true smartwatches give you like one day battery life, one and a half day on lighter use. But the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro has a slightly better battery life. The non-LTE variant easily lasts three days, but this LTE variant should last about two days. The Galaxy Watch 4 starts at 9999 and the LTE variant starts at 12999. 
Now, if you have a budget of 10,000, I would recommend getting this. Just keep your battery life expectations in check. But if you have the budget, get the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, which starts at 44999. A better way would be to visit an offline Samsung store. You would get better offer on the watches. Like when we were buying the S23 Ultra, we got this Galaxy Watch 4 LTE for about 2999. So that's also a smart way. On that note, this is Pradeek signing off. See you in the next video. End the video. You said... Pew, 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 pew.